On an average Sunday night, we would assemble and sterilize approximately about 120 instrument trays. But on the night of October 1st, we assembled and sterilized uh, just under 700. Dwayne Taylor, um, I had never known before. And uh, it was amazing when I actually learned what Dwayne's story was. I received a call from one of my ex-employees in Sacramento. He said, I'm just calling on you to see if you're okay. I heard there was a shooting in Vegas. You know, I really didn't think much of it. He said, no, he said, uh, like 50 something people, you know, have been killed. And I knew when he gave me that number, that was something serious. I called my VP of Surgical Services, Mike Kelly, and I said, I know I'm not on the clock yet, but hey, I'm here. So he said, come on in. And he had not yet worked. He was gonna start the job the following Monday morning. So he pretty much turned the department over to me at that time. He didn't know anyone's name, you know, but he took control of things and he basically orchestrated the provision of instruments. I actually was a surgical tech over in the uh, Gulf War. So uh, I got some battlefield experience firsthand and in the military, the surgical technicians also worked in sterile processing. So they knew both sides. Just thinking of you know the battlefield scenario, we pushed everything that was trauma related to the front of the line and everyone just fell into place and just started you know, assembling those instruments. Because of his training, he knew what would be required. So he modified the trays to incorporate basic instruments that would be needed for a laparotomy or an abdominal or chest surgery. So he had the acumen and the understanding to be able to create over 500, 600 trays of sterile equipment, you know, in that short time period. We had two people uh, pushing the loads into the sterilizers. As soon as we got them out of the autoclave, they were, we were sending them to the ER or to ICU, or they were even using some of them in surgery. So as they needed them, we gave them. The trays have an inner tray and an outer tray that they go in. He understood that it took too much time to match the boxes to the trays, but it's perfectly acceptable to sterilize the trays themselves without the boxes and uh, therefore basically save time. After the instruments come out of the autoclave, they're approximately 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Normally we let them cool for about an hour. Well, that night, they were taking them hot. In the operating room, there was no sense of disorganization at all. And the equipment just kept coming. I don't see it as anything that I really did. Uh, I just did a little bit of refocusing of staff. They were rowing the boat. I was just steering it. I think Dwayne's unique training um, enabled him to really be the perfect person to do the job. One of the things that I immediately implement is a change of mindset from that of a worker to that of a contributor. That's why I implemented the always prepared mentality. Anytime that they're out, they keep their hospital ID and keys with them because again, you never know what could happen or when it could happen. It could strike at any time. I think it just kind of cemented, you know, what I've always believed in that this is a responsibility you know, that I have to the community. This hospital experienced an event that very few people will experience in their lives. And with the leadership of people like Mr. Sklamberg and, and Dwayne, we understand that we can potentially do the impossible. Vega Strong means no matter what you throw at us, we're gonna do what we have to do. Everyone has a tattoo, a Vegas Strong tattoo that works in this hospital. It's on their arm or in their heart or wherever you want to say it is. That's something that we are proud of. When it counts, <laughs> no, I don't think you can, you can beat this team here. Sunrise is top notch. There are many similar stories as to what we're talking about. This was an entire group effort uh, for the whole city uh, getting behind this and putting their heart and soul into it. Thank you.